Charlie Warner. And today, why don't we get into the headlines of the day? Uh, Ross Dwelly is back on a one-year deal. Dwelly, you know, University of San Diego, played for the Toreros, undersized guy, but he's a really good athlete. He's a tremendous receiver. Um, he's not much of an inline blocker, but I really like him as a receiver. He's got good hands. Um, he's a special teamer for the most part, but, um, you know, this guy, he's a good football player, I think as a receiver and in, in, in an era where you're using the tight ends out in the pattern more, I'd like to have, you know, one really good receiver, uh, outside of Kittle. So you got Kittle, you got Charlie Warner, you got Dwelly and we'll see. I think they probably almost for sure hit this either, uh, most likely in the draft, but a lot of people were calling for Austin Hooper. I, I threw out Robert Tanyan. I think mm. Dwelly in the draft is probably the position that the way they go at tight end. what do you think of the Dwelly re-signing? I didn't see any of the specifics on the money. So one year deal. I didn't see the specifics yet. hundred uh, percent. I don't think they have that out yet, but um, yeah, I, I like Dwelly. He's a good pass catching receiver. You know, he didn't get used a lot last year. He's been on the team. Now this is going to be a sixth year. Solid veteran, him and Kittle are boys. I would have loved to have Robert Tanyan, actually. Me and you think alike in that. I was pushing for Tanyan because I think they need another pass-catching guy. Kittle's going to be 30. Uh, you know, he plays so physical, and you need a guy that can help step in if he can't play a game or just take some pressure off of him because Kittle does everything. He blocks, he catches, he does literally everything for that team. So I do want a guy that can come in and, and help him out. I like Dwelly again. He's played six years. I think he started 17 games over his – time with the 49ers you know so it basically tells you when Kittle's out Dwelly's getting in he's getting the inline start there so um I like Charlie Warner definitely a blocker but the 49ers typically have four or five tight ends on a roster and they like to use them as blockers as we saw in the NFC championship with Tyler Croft and Hassan Reddick the infamous play you know uh so I would be shocked if they don't go tight end there's a few people that I like Sam Laporta out of Iowa that's my guy if they can go get a tight end Iowa University is tight end you where Kittle's from. And then the other guy I like from uh, Ohio State, I have him on my list, Kate Stover, I believe his name. Those are my top two tight ends if the 49ers are going to be drafting because they're in that round of where the 49ers could probably get a tight end. I, I would be surprised if they don't get a guy. Um, I like Dwelly, but I don't think they utilized him enough. Uh, again, good pass catcher, but I don't think he moves the needle in terms of being like a big-time production guy, but good re-signing. Yeah, I mean, you know, he... You know, you want to have some continuity in your football team, and you know, mm. um, this guy's this guy, hardworking guy, athletic tight end, not really a strong inline blocker, but you know, um, you want to have some. I think they look at that room and say they're going to go into the draft and take. I wouldn't be surprised if they took two tight ends. I mean, mm. um, you know, they like to utilize the tight end. I'm a huge Michael Mayer fan, but, you know, he didn't work out all that well, and now they're saying he's falling in the first round. Um, he's not going to fall to the 49ers in the third round, but uh, <laughs> but I'm a huge Michael Mayer fan. Kincaid from Utah is tremendous. Oh, Darnell yeah. Washington, how about that one-handed catch at the combine? That was crazy. Crazy. And crazy. Laporta, you mentioned Laporta. I mean, he's just really, really solid. I, there's a couple other guys, Payne Durham out of Purdue. Uh, Koontz, yeah. the gigantic 6'8 guy from Old Dominion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Luke uh, Musgrave, that guy. He's, he's a Yes, man. Luke Musgrave's yeah. a great athlete. Yeah. Uh, Shoemaker, the Michigan tight ends, of, is a force. So there's a bunch yeah. of guys. And then, you know, as far as movement tight end, you know, you get that Stanford wide receiver, Elijah Higgins, who goes 235 and worked mm. out great. He might be a phenomenal day three, you know, movement tight end.